Welcome back to PCTV Reports. I'm Kelly Lambert and right now I'm at the Park City Ice Arena observing some curling lessons. Curling lessons have been in massive demand since the Olympics started a couple weeks ago, so we're here checking it out. Tonight we're going to be curling. This is a curling drop-in. Um, this season we've actually put a number of curling drop-ins on the schedule because there's such a high demand for curling when the Olympics are happening. Um, over the past five days I think I've turned down at least 25 to 30 uh, curling rental inquiries. A drop-in uh, for curling is somebody can just rent one lane. One lane is eight people. So a four on four match. We have six lanes here. So we can fit 48 people on the ice at one time curling. If you've already experienced the game of curling and you know what you're doing, you can just come and drop in and you don't need an instructor. If it's a first time thing for you, we can set up an instructor for you. Um, if, it's just, if you just have uh, yourself or another friend, we can try to pair you up with other people so you can have the most authentic experience when you curl. All sorts of people are coming out to curl. I think uh, every four years in curling, we see a big spike in interest, and it's awesome for any local curling club uh, to see. It's uh, it's almost overwhelming uh, the number of people that want to come try it out, and I don't blame them because it's a wicked awesome sport. So curling has uh, two teams, four players each. Everyone throws two stones. Uh, and the goal is at the end, after everyone's thrown the stones, so that's eight stones per team, that uh, your goal is to have your stones closest to the middle of the scoring circle, which is called the house, than your opponent's best stone. There's four different positions in curling. The lead throws the first two stones and then sweeps for everyone else. The second throws the next two stones, sweeps for everyone else. Then the third, or the vice skip, they will usually, they'll deliver the third two stones and they'll sweep for the first two. And then the last guy, his name is the Skip, and uh, he basically calls all the shots in curling. So he gets to put his broom up at the other end of the ice. He decides the strategy and yells at everyone else to sweep. Whenever we're starting, we go through basic of how to deliver a stone, how to sweep a stone, how to release a stone, and then we just get a chance to go out and experience the sport firsthand. So we we play a game, including starting with a, with a coin flip and handshakes as every curling game starts and wishing each other good curling. Um, and then we just give people a chance to experience it firsthand and hopefully uh, they love it and want to come back and try it again. We have a lot of the equipment here. The important thing is to wear uh, breathable warm pants and uh, shoes that have a solid rubber sole on it. Um, so if you're curling you want to bring your shoes into the rink rather than wearing them on the way, because if you pick up any debris on your way walking in and that stays on the ice, that can affect the stones a lot. So you want to bring your own pair of shoes, uh, comfortable, breathable pants, um, and then generally dress warm, because it's on ice, so it's cold. It is so much harder than it looks. Like, I did a belly flop on the ice, but I loved it, because I don't even care, I'm curling. But it's hard. It's really awkward. It's going to take a few times to get it, the rhythm down for sure. Sweeping, I think it's really the hardest part as I just fell flat on my back. But I'm excited for a second round to do it again. I'm trying to perfect the stone throw. So once I get that down, I think that'll be my favorite. I'm a pretty good sweeper. Um, might be recruited this year. Well, we'll see what happens. I feel like we've been able to channel the Olympic spirit here at home because we've been able to participate in a iconic Olympic sport. It is. It's, it's amazing. This is a family event and we feel so bonded through our stones. Expect to see us in 2022. We are going to try to keep doing these curling drop-ins as long as people are interested in them. Yeah, come curl. It's amazing. The Park City Ice Arena is the perfect place to learn how to curl. If you want to learn how to curl, book on their website or give them a call. Thanks for watching PCTV Reports. We'll be back right after this break.